Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading for September 2023. Just letting you know that I am going to start doing some weekly readings in addition to the monthly readings and the weekly readings will be shorter as well than the monthlies. So in front of you are some of the decks I will be using to do your reading, some of the oracle decks. So let's get straight into your messages for September. So first of all, we're going to focus on the main theme for you in September. So what is the main theme for Taurus for September? That's a shitload of cards. I think I will take what's here and leave the rest. The, um, the remaining cards were the Tower and Strength for... Um, yeah, we'll stick with this because that's a lot just for for a main theme. So you've got the moon, the four of wands and the king of swords. And I have no idea what that means just yet. So let's put those there. Let's get your energy coming into this month. You've got the eight of swords. So possibly needing to become clear about something in terms of building a foundation. And let's look at any external or surrounding energies. Six of Swords. Let's get any past energies that are relevant now. Seven of Cups. Current energy. Ten of Wands. Potential future energy. Ace of Pentacles and advice. And I would say that you are, the burdens you may be overcoming are to do with confusion. Um, I mean, you've got signs of confusion here, Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords, the Moon, all connected to confusion. So let's get you now some Oracle cards. So we'll get you a Spirit Animal Oracle card, first of all. was quick your card seemed to be flying out Taurus <laughs> surrender now that makes sense to be honest with you um, I'm not going to read that from the book because that is pretty self-explanatory um, but yeah this is I mean ten, ten of one surrendering isn't it really and we'll get you an African goddess rising card as well what else does Taurus need to know as an overview or summary for September. Let's see what you've got. You have resistance. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not funny. Resistance and surrender now. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I think it's because I've been doing readings all day and I'm kind of like tired and a bit loopy now. So I'm just laughing for no reason. But it, do, it does make sense though. So what are the chances of getting surrender now with um, resistance? And then scarcity and I did say something about building a foundation so maybe you feel like you don't potentially don't have enough to build a new foundation or something but let's look as I said I'm not going to read surrender now should I even bother with reading these yeah I will I'll read them um these are short sweet messages from this African goddess rising book so that helps oh 21 and 22 as well so let's look at 22 first so Gangang Sara, Shadow of Resistance, um, Shadow Goddess Gangang Sara, the Witch of Golden Lane, blew into Tobago on a determined breeze from West Africa to emancipate her family. You are scared that what you are going, what? You are scared that you are going to mess it all up. You may have stumbled, but this is a new day. Learn to show up for yourself. You ghost your own dreams and resist your own magic. Stop holding back, worrying and pretending to seek perfection that will never come. When it comes to you stepping into your greatness, resistance keeps you stuck. Resistance blocks growth, creativity and evolution. Resistance may look like procrastination, 
laziness, deco diso dick, <laughs> disorganization. I, I think I've lost it now. Now that I'm on the final reading, I've kind of lost it. Sorry, disorganization, excuses or lack of motivation. But there are deeper forces at play. You are resisting the force you really are. The goddess declaration says, this is me, I show up. And I am resisting laughing now. I don't know what's happened. Um, why I'm in, in a giggly energy. Um, so 21. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, really weird why I feel like laughing right now. Um, Aunt Nancy, shadow of betrayal. Air, and it's the element of air. Um, Anansi or Kwaku Anansi, the Akan trickster god and scared, so sorry, sacred clown, snuck into our global folk tales. While Gula Geechee children, her tales of Aunt Nancy, the tricky spider woman, my Guyanese parents entertained us with Nancy stories about a witty teen spider. Am I reading? I'm not even reading the right one. I'm telling you, I've absolutely lost it. Um, 20, 21, apologies Taurus, sorry Taurus, Gemini, Taurus, Tor I'm on Taurus, I've completely lost the plot. I did say there was something about confusion here, so maybe that's what's wrong with me, is that I'm just picking up this weird energy of confusion, I don't know, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Right, 21, this card here, um, and I don't know how to say this, Su, Su Koyant, Shadow of Scarcity, she's the air element. Beauty by day and hag by night, the Sukoyant is an en energy vampire also known throughout the diaspora as Olehigu and Buhag. Where the energy... The candle's gone out as well, have you just noticed? This is a really creepy reading, <laughs> or weird reading. Um, where the energy or blood for vampires there is never enough to go around. You have so much more than you realise, you have access to unlimited joy love good times pleasures and prosperity be grateful for your riches stop going to the ocean and asking for a thimble full of water it doesn't feel like it when you're desperate but scarcity and lack are an illusion prosperity is believing that there is an overflow more than enough love happiness well-being and money to go around vampires take from others because they don't have enough life force for themselves that is scarcity consciousness when you embody lack you are always hungry tired and jealous that's i, I get that tired <laughs> make a gratitude list what are you grateful for right now my blessings will always overflow right taurus i'm going to be extremely distracted by that candle being out so i'm going to take a pause i'm going to get a new candle take a break to compose myself it will only be a second for you I'm just going to pause now right Taurus I'm back now I've got a new candle hopefully I'm a lot more focused I apologize for being quite scatty um before maybe that's relevant um but yeah I've refocused now so I was tempted to start the reading from scratch but I do think this energy is um it's relevant it's relevant to get into this so if you haven't switched off because you got sick of me acting nuts then um let's let's get into this properly now so we've got our messages there's clearly some sort of confusion here um I'm looking at the resistance. Um, I mean, ten of ones can sometimes be resistance when there's a burden you need to drop, but you don't drop it. That is resistance, isn't it? Eight of swords is like um, inhibitions and self-restriction. And then you've got the surrender now card. Um, you have the scarcity card that matches. So something's holding you back, basically. But let us get into this and clarify. So looking at that central energy of the moon at the king of swords i mean first of all the moon and king of swords together is something needs to be clearer more decisive and because it's the four of ones there which can be about foundations i would say it's to do with building a foundation but let's um clarify yeah well that's plant page of pentacles is planting a new seed um death is where something needs to be something has ended or needs to be transformed You have, oh God, this, I'm telling you, right. So you're the last reading I'm doing. Again, that's why I said I was a bit loopy probably because you're, you're like the 12th one and I've done a lot of them today. Um, the Hierophant has come up, I believe in every single reading. I'll be surprised if it, I'd, I'll have to check, 
but I feel like it's come up in every single reading and I'm really feeling that um, for September this is about throwing out old rules, old morals, old beliefs, the, the rule book basically. I will clarify it, I did clarify it in the last reading, not the others but just the last one and it did come up with that um, that message of throwing out the rule book. But let's um, let's get some more for this. I would say it's about transforming old ways or putting an end to old ways and planting a new seed here. But something, I feel like that's too many. We'll take them. Something has to be clearer. Yeah, the fool is, is going into something new, isn't it? So I would say that it's still about throwing out the rule book. Um, I would say you probably need to become clear. Although you are taking a leap of faith, be clear about what it is you're moving towards. Um, and it would be something that you, something that you desire, that you feel you feel passionately about or maybe that's what you need is um you need to figure out what it is that you feel passionately about maybe that could be the restriction if you don't already know let's clarify that hierophant and we'll clarify the queen yeah queen of one so let's look at the hierophant this is new ma now me clarifying clarifiers rather than trying to um sit in there baffled not knowing what to do so the hierophant two truths yeah, to me, if it's two truths, that speaks of the truth that is your truth and the truth that is um, probably the truth of, of like, tradi um, I don't even speak, traditions, um, rules, and that, that would be the burden. That would be a burden. I'll get one more and then I'll, I'll probably take those back off. So one more for the Hierophant, please. Let's see what that was that wanted to flip the sun. I'm not going to take it, but it did some weird acrobatics in the deck. So, right, two of cups. So what matches your cup? What matches your energy? What you feel connected to? Yeah, it's to me, it's it's still saying the same thing, throwing out the rules. So let's look at um, the Queen of Wands. Um, that's what you would desire, I feel. But the question is, are you clear about that? Um... Are you clear about it already or do you need to be clear? That's bringing something together. So what you desire is bringing together what you desire. Maybe there are people you need to collaborate with or this is just the things that you need, um, the practical resources that you need to bring something together. So another for the Queen of Wands, please. We have the Queen of Wands. We have, is there something under her? No. We have the Ten of Pentacles, so it might be to do with abundance. Um, the Three of Wands for me is, is often about manifestation. Um, can be about travel, but it feels more like manifestation of abundance here. It's not going to tell me specifically what it is you want, but it's something that you... I mean, you've got the three elements there, haven't you? You've got cups, pentacles, ones. All that's missing is the swords, and that's where you need to become clearer. So it's something that you have a feeling for, you have a desire for, and you want the practical results. And maybe there are some practical things that you need to um, to figure out about it as well. So as I was saying, because it's a general collective reading, it may not show me specific details. Um, it picks up on the energy more than anything else. So you apply it. If it resonates, you apply it how it's relevant within your life and your situation. So what is it that you need to become clearer on in terms of creating a, um, or building a new foundation? Right, let's look at your energy, the Eight of Swords, where it's just restriction, um, maybe not saying it's seen a way out, confusion. King of Pentacles. Again, it could be something about abundance and stability. You've got the Strength card. See, this is why I need a candle for these readings because I feel like I'm not focused without the candle. And you saw my be my behaviour before. I was all over the place and then when I got a new candle, I was, I'm alright now. So it's really weird. And now the candle just keeps me focused. Don't ask why, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've got um, a lot of fire in my chart. No idea, but it works. It does work. That's why I have one in every reading. Strength, Nine of Swords. I would say there is something about courage here. Um, maybe believing in yourself that you can build whatever this is you want to build. Because with the four of ones, I did say building foundations, didn't I? 
let's get another for the eight of swords i mean one of the cards said it's like you feel like you can't do it that you're gonna mess it up didn't it so I wouldn't be surprised if there's, I know there's not specific, well, yeah, the King of Pentacles is a, referred to as a self-made man, isn't he? Um, there's something here where you want to provide a service, um, maybe start your own business, be an entrepreneur, and maybe you feel like you can't do it. Potentially, you've got the world. So the Six of Pentacles is giving and receiving. So that would be in business where you give and you receive. Um, there are pentacles involved. Um, the world is a new cycle. I mean, it could even be, um, it doesn't have to be your own business. It's charity. It could be charity. Maybe you want to start up your own charity or maybe you want to do charity work. I've forgotten what you call it. Um, oh, what's it called now? When people go to other countries and do, um, charity type work, the word has gone from my mind. Um, philanthropist, I think is the right word. Um, anything where you give um, generously, but there's something holding you back from this. Let's get one more card to clarify the Eight of Swords. Collaborate, the right people to collaborate with all the right things that you need. Maybe what you need to be clearer on is, is it's not what you want to do. It might be the things that you need to achieve what you want to do, probably, is um, more along the lines of what you're trying to figure out. Because here, with that Seven of Cups, you're looking at um, options, different perspectives. So that's past energy. Just bear with me, I'll have a drink because my throat's dry. Okay, let's look at Six of Swords as the surrounding energy <clears throat> or external energy. So this could be a person or a situation or just the energy itself. Ooh, so I would say the external energy is the energy of the universe, to put it bluntly, um, pushing you for change, pushing you to move, pushing you to make a decision. Um, the last three readings I've done, the sun has been potential. I've seen the sun as potential. <clears throat> and that's um, weighing up the potential. So I feel that this external energy is just the energy of the universe or whatever you want to call it. Um, spirit the divine pushing you for change pushing you to make um to make a move to move forward to move on but you're kind of stuck there let's see if there's anything else Whoop, that comes out you may have been presented with different um opportunities or options I'm gonna keep it in reverse that feels right you may have been presented with different opportunities and you still haven't made um Things still haven't become clear Let me, yet. Maybe you've gone back and forth. There's something here. The reason I've kept it upside down is because with the Queen of Pentacles, she can be about stability, nurturing, but she can also be about values. And I feel that there's something here with your values that is not, I don't know, not quite. It's not that you're not right, but maybe you don't have strong enough values or maybe you're assessing what your values are. Maybe that's why the King of Swords is there. But the desire is there, so it's the values are lacking, and, and that's where, um, when we've clarified things, we said Three of Pentacles wasn't it was something that you're lacking potentially. So there's something with values potentially that is lacking. Um, and then the hangman is about beliefs, isn't it? Values, beliefs. So yeah, the Six of Swords energy for me is pushing you to um, pushing you to move, move on, move forward. So Seven of Cups past energy is looking at options, perspectives, um, what, is it worth it? Is it worth pursuing? Is it worth doing? Seven of Cups, and that's based on how you feel. Do you feel like it's worth it? And we've got that devil holding you back again. You may have been disappointed in the past, so that may be why, you, um, why you're holding back and not able to make a decision. Maybe things went wrong in the past and you feel like um, that's what's holding you back, fears. You see how that double flipped? I love when that happens, it's quite funny. Um, right, there we go, that's flipped properly. So there's something you may have had to heal from in the past and now, yeah, that's a protective energy, that Seven of Wands, is, that's, that's part of the holding back is being 
protective, reluctant, resistant. Sometimes seven of wands for me can be resistance. Which resistance is here? We'll get one more. Is there anything more you can tell us about what this resistance is? Why, why the resistance happened? Aside from just disappointment in the past? Nope, it can't tell us. I mean, we've got two truths there with the two of swords. Um, or indecisiveness. Maybe you didn't. You made a choice in the past that you feel was the wrong choice. You probably had a couple of options before, and, and or different options, which is shown here, and you feel like you chose wrong in the past. So now it's like, oh, I don't want to choose wrong again. Let's get one more for that. Ooh. King of Swords. Yeah, it's around decision making. You may have. You may feel like you made the wrong decision in the past. Um, when you had different options so that could be holding you back from making making a choice again so let's put those there let's look at this ten of wands this is the current current energy so it's a burden that needs to be released so well moving forward for one making a move i mean sometimes it's a case of just making taking a step forward um whatever that step is gets things moving along um but maybe for you it's about knowing you don't know what what move to make, possibly, or what the next step is, potentially. Temperance. Let's have a look what else is there that comes out with temperance. I would say you don't feel at peace. Um, there's something where you don't feel at peace and maybe that's why you can't make a decision. <clears throat> I feel like what came out first... Ten of Pentacles, High Priestess. Is there anything going on with you in terms of financial stability? Are you lacking financial stability? Or do you feel that if you do whatever it is you want to do, you're going to lose it all? Um, is that what's holding you back and creating a sense of burden for you? Like, you know, like it could be where you want to um, get a business loan, but you have to use your house as collateral. And if the business doesn't work out then you lose your house because you've got a house there um ten of pentacles there that's a potential or you've got a bunch of savings and you want to put that in a business invest it in a business but you know that if the business doesn't work out then you've lost everything um that's the message that's coming through but you don't feel at peace here why okay why have the High Priestess and the Hermit come up? Because that's really a lot about inner guidance, isn't it? Why have they shown up here in the... Um, I mean, I know why. It's probably just telling you that you need to follow your intuition and your inner guidance. Maybe you need to do some soul searching to figure this out. But why the High Priestess and the Hermit? Figuring out how you feel. Yeah, trusting your intuition. How do you feel? What do you feel is the right... Um, maybe you've been too practical about things or too logical, maybe too logical or too practical, and you need to focus on how you feel. What do you feel is the right thing to do? That's probably how you manifest. Well, you do, but they always say, don't they, that you manifest by how you feel. Um, and three of ones for me is, is a lot to do with manifestation nowadays. I and mean, then you've got the king of cups with it. So how do you feel? How do you feel about what move you need to take? What are you doing? I mean, clearly this challenge is here, but the spark is there. Um, and the spark comes from how you feel. Not It's not about what you think or what you do. The spark is initially about how you feel and then you take it forward from there, don't you? Right, let's put these away. So the burden you need to release, I think, is you need peace, but I think it's about figuring out, look like, not even figuring out, but just knowing how you feel. I don't know why I'm taking all of them. Uh, we'll leave those there and put those on top. Maybe you feel that you need to have peace before you can make a decision, but that ain't going to happen um, necessarily. Maybe it's just a case of go forward with what you feel and then eventually you will get peace. You can't expect to have peace beforehand in this situation. The Ace of Pentacles is the future energy, so there's clearly an opportunity here that comes up in the future whether it's one that you create or one that's presented to you or manifested, um, it might be more than one opportunity with the Seven of Cups there. So it's like history repeating itself, isn't it? And you'll be required to investigate what is the right opportunity, the right path, the right way of doing things. 
little page of ones is the little explorer um the way i see it, ready to learn ready to to go on a new path okay why is this seven of swords here anything to say why the seven of swords is oh it's about taking a risk isn't it being willing to take a risk even though things i mean you never know this is a projection often where you're worried that things will go wrong but it's because you don't know it's the future isn't it you can't guarantee that it would go wrong or would go right it's just having to take a risk and then there's a lot of worry about finance financial um stability here i feel um or material stability where you're worried that you're going to lose it all the star so that would be your um hopes and dreams but you somehow you end up let's clarify the seven of swords so that's about taking a um taking taking a risk on what it is that you that will satisfy you i'll get one more for that, like that. one more for that yeah what matches your cup energetically what feels you feel connected to what feels good let's clarify the five of pentacles challenges you, you just it's like you don't feel like you've got enough to um to take on the challenge yeah you haven't got enough like you don't even want to invest you're afraid to invest by the looks of it because you fear that you're going to lose it all and this is something that could have happened in the past did you did you try to start a business or something or invest in something physically with money very likely um or building something in the past and it went wrong because that's what it's starting to feel like or not starting to that's what it's felt like from the near the beginning of the reading but um it's just showing itself more and more isn't it okay let's put these on top of the opportunity and i've done them backwards like it matters it doesn't really matter does it it's that way so an opportunity is coming up in the future whether you've created it or it's offered and you're going to have to contemplate how to move forward but you are worried and scared of um losing it all basically that's what i'm getting temperance so that would be harmony creating harmony creating something new what does temperance have to tell us queen of swords again peace will come when you focus on how you feel rather than the practical and logical side of things that's your advice the lovers is feelings isn't it it's about choosing what you love choose what you love and then things will will find a way it's not to say it'll be a perfect journey or a perfect road to get what you want but that's the starting point is feelings not logic or practicality and again there's the king of cups now yeah with with thoughts and logic um and trying to analyze the shit out of everything which i do a lot myself anyway so I'm, I'm not here to judge anyone that will keep you feeling trapped feelings will free you focusing on the feelings will be what gives you peace but thoughts keep you imprisoned yeah the feelings will help you to release the burden it's just repeating itself now so that's it pretty much is focus on how you feel um tr rather than trying to logic you your way out of the situation or into a new situation let's get you some more oracle cards firstly from the angels and ancestors deck so any more guidance for taurus traveler move in a new direction so you may need to do things differently from how you've done them before uh, let's put her here and there is definitely a need to move in a new direction um and there's a desire for it as well i feel shall i get one more we'll get one more look what's on the bottom direction guardian choose your path um let's see what else anything else for taurus any other guidance for taurus for september 2023 why is that flipping around try again there might not be anything this might be it actually anything else for taurus surround yourself with protective energy i think maybe um 
you might be doing that a bit too much to be honest I mean there's nothing wrong with protecting yourself but you might be going it might be too much at this point and it might be well it is it's resistance you've got resistance surrender now scarcity it's holding you back I think you may be in a state of overprotectiveness, which is understandable if you've you've done something that you consider to be a mistake in the past. But um, yeah, at some point you have to you have to let go, and that will bring the peace in. So let's get you a postcard from Spirit, which I will read. What do we need to know for Taurus? Any more advice for Taurus? Yeah, that one. So I don't know if you can see that clearly. Your message says, Dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt. Remember, we we're talking about feelings just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender, <laughs> that word again, to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come, who will deliver them, when they will show up and what they will do for you. All of that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We are on it. Relax. If only you knew how much you are loved. Sigh. So again, focus how you feel and then the miracle will probably come in. You will probably manifest it based on how you feel rather than being trapped in all these horrible thoughts that are, um, that are restricting you and causing resistance and scarcity. So Taurus, just another reminder that I will be doing weeklies going forward or some weeklies going forward. Feel free to share your comments if it resonated. Um, thank you for watching the video and take care.